Two million New Yorkers have some form of food insecurity, just not getting enough to eat. The pandemic has made things worse for those who struggle to get a meal on the table. An annual effort to get food to Bronx residents for the holidays has now expanded to all five boroughs. Roger's with us from the Hunts Point Produce Market in the Bronx with more on this. Good morning, Roger. Yeah, Pat, there's like thousands of workers here. It's an all-night, all-day business that goes on here at the Hunts Point Produce Market. All of this food, right, but only like, you know, a couple of blocks away, there are people who are struggling to eat. Well, that's why the Hunts Point Produce Market and different elected officials around the city have gone together to try and fix that. On a chilly day in the Melrose section of the Bronx, a line stretches for blocks. Neighborhood residents waiting for food for their holiday tables and beyond. Among the first online at the Bronx Works Classic Community Center is Julio Ortiz, a maintenance worker at Barclay Center who hasn't collected a paycheck during the pandemic. He arrived here at 5 a.m. I'm hustling to get more food and um, to help others. This holiday food distribution is made possible by the Hunts Point Produce Market, the world's largest wholesale produce market, made up of more than 30 family-owned businesses. The market usually does this holiday giveaway once a year in the South Bronx before Thanksgiving. But this year, expanded it to all five boroughs because of the extreme need brought on by COVID-19. We're doing everything we possibly can to give back and sort of help pe lift people's spirits, get them some you know, healthy stuff to lift their immune systems and see what we can do to further help for the rest of the year, at least. The market teams up with local elected officials like City Councilman Rafael Salamanca Jr. for these distributions. Salamanca's father worked at the market for years. The councilman has been organizing twice a week food distributions throughout the pandemic feeding close to 30,000 people. It's, it's more expensive to eat healthier. And so, you know, residents are on a budget. They, they may be there on public assistance. They have to stretch out uh, the, the money that they get so they can feed their entire family. So being able to give them fresh produce so that they can eat healthier um, goes a long way. And that's why they waited in line for hours for these bags of fresh fruits and vegetables and a turkey for Thanksgiving. The people need help. And, and this is this is a good thing that they do. It's very important to the, um, a lot of the community families that don't have in time of need for the holidays. So this is a blessing. Yeah, and Pat, you know, talking to everybody, it really it's incredible when you think about all of the food that's here at, at the Humps Point Produce Market. They have the fish market out here as well. All of this food, and literally just a couple of blocks away, are some of the some of the highest poverty rates in, in the in the country, literally. So it's uh, some, it's good that everybody's getting together to kind of try and fix this in what you'd call a food desert here in parts of the Bronx. And and one of the points that that has been made in the past is that. Can we better match food waste with, uh, with those who, who might have a need for it in a, in a moment? And all of these programs come together to help people out at a tough time. Yeah, absolutely, and that's one of the things. You know, I was talking with Gabriella from Dorico, and if you, you probably remember from a couple of years ago, we did the story at the Banana House, and she was telling me that they ha have a lot of excess, and they're able to year-round try and get it out to people as much as they possibly can because it's there, so they just have to make sure it gets to the right place, and that's why they work with local community groups and elected officials because they're the ones who know where the need is. Thanks, Roger.